Well, good morning. Welcome to WTL Well 11 Your Day. I'm Amanda Fay. It is an alert day uh, mm -hmm. today. Ryan, we had some snow over the weekend, and we're expecting some more today. And I think I saw on your social media, Amanda, you said yeah. yesterday's snow wasn't enough. I want way more. <laughs> Pretty sure I said the opposite. Pretty sure I said, I'm good. This is enough. Uh, it was it was a nice snow yesterday, and it was on a yeah. Sunday, and we didn't have to go anywhere. And you know, our daughter and dog could burn some energy outside, and you know, that's ideal snowfall. I it feel really like. is, and it was that light, fluffy yeah. type of snow too, right? It wasn't too hard to shovel. Uh, I did get out there a little bit, and it helped out. You did. I, I did. You know, it was my husband's birthday yesterday, so oh, I, I didn't right. want. I felt bad making him do all of the shoveling, so uh, we we all helped. Maggie even helped a little. Bit. Uh, Poppy kind of got in the way. I the say dog. I found the kids and the dogs typically throw more snow back onto the driveway than actually help. But yeah, but uh, they try. <laughs> That's what counts. So how much yeah. more uh, do you think we'll we'll get here today? Then? I think yesterday was the bigger of the two okay. days. But uh, we have an alert day for today, Amanda, because I think we'll get about two inches of snow. And the bigger part of this too is just how cold the temperature is. Right now, you see the bottom right of your screen. It says 17 degrees. When we get temperatures this cold, and with an overnight low in the single digits last night, the asphalt is so cold that the snow can instantly stick to it and that's why we thought we were going to see some problems and we certainly have on the area roadways even if you have traffic driving on that road that snow melts when it hits the asphalt the tire goes over it and then it refreezes almost immediately it can cause some black ice. And so that's why we've got our alert day out there for today. Slick spots on the road. You can see the snowfall now starting to become pretty steady and it's likely to stay at this pace or a little bit higher than what you're seeing out the window right now for at least the next couple of hours and into the early afternoon. Places south and east of Toledo still waiting to get in on the snow. It's still coming. I promise you we can extend this all the way back across northern Indiana into Chicago where the snowfall rates you can see there are picking up a little bit. So expect things to stay pretty slick throughout the day. Glance at our hour by hour forecast takes us through the morning hours towards lunchtime. And here you can see the bulk of the snowfall coming in even into the early afternoon. Snowfall looks like it stays pretty steady for us for several hours, eventually tapering off once we get into the evening hours after the sun goes down. Very cold conditions expected for us heading into tomorrow. As far as the snowfall totals, this is what we all come for, right? The snowfall map, and it shows most spots about two inches. Wouldn't be shocked if we get a couple that go higher than that, potentially as high as three inches for some of the overachievers. Some light lake effect snow possible tomorrow, a high of 20 degrees. Wednesday, sunshine back out, but only 18. A very typical late January, early February outlook here with more chances for some light snow and cold weather continuing.